welcome to my video today, friends. And I call you that because you are kind of my friends. A lot of you send me messages with amazing stories I've never heard before. It makes me realize that we are all very different, but we are each still really cool in our own ways. So what's new with me? There's this talent show coming up at my school, and I thought I would enter. I'm super nervous about it because I'm going to write my own song to sing for everyone. Except I'm stuck. I wish I could be like all the famous singers out there. They make it look so easy. I started watching videos of songs online, and somehow I found myself watching a video about wacky animals. Did you know that there are colorful spiders called sparkle muffins that do a funny dance? And there are glass frogs that have no color at all and are sort of see-through. God made some unusual things. Am I right? Hang on, I have a message from my friend. I'm really excited to hear your song at the talent show. No matter what, I think you are really cool and you're a great friend. Just give God your best. Wow, thank you. That was such a nice message. I really needed to hear that because sometimes I feel like I don't have what it takes to be a great singer. You know what else I could hear right now? A Bible story. It's time for our Bible story. It begins with a dude named Samuel. God and Samuel talked a lot. He was called a prophet because God would tell him stuff so that he could go tell God's people. It was kind of like a game of telephone, but with God. Imagine that. So the people of God wanted a king. God knew that it wouldn't be a good idea. Some people with power forget to rule fairly and become greedy. It should have been enough for the people to have God, but since the people kept asking for one, God decided to give them a king. But God is so good and always patient with us, even when we choose things that are not always the best choice. A man named Saul became the first king of Israel, but that didn't turn out to be so great. Samuel was pretty bummed out about it, but God told him to try again and to pick a new king to replace Saul. He sent Samuel to a guy named Jesse. One of his sons would be the next king. Jesse had a lot of sons and they all seemed very king-like, meaning each of them would make a good king. But each time Samuel thought one of the sons was definitely the one that God would choose as king, God said no. And God said no to all of Jesse's sons that Samuel saw, all except for one. David was Jesse's youngest son. They didn't even bother to bring him in to see Samuel because they were sure he wasn't king material. But God said otherwise. The moment David was called for and walked into the room, God practically shouted to Samuel, that's my guy, he's the one. This was an unusual choice. David was chosen by God as the next king of his people. He wasn't perfect, but the smallest of Jesse's sons turned out to be a truly great king who had a heart that was after God's own heart. This story is living proof that God uses unlikely people. Wow! God chose the youngest and smallest son to become king. That's so neat! I'm surprised at how much God uses unlikely people. But just because someone is unlikely to get chosen, that doesn't mean they're not a good choice. So even though I might not be the best singer or songwriter in my school, I could still share my song with everyone. And who knows, people might really like it. I don't have to be like everybody else. I mean, God made really unique animals like the sparkle muffin spider and the glass frog. I know God made me unique too. And getting the message from my friend earlier really cheered me up. I love the part about giving God your best. That's a great line. I'm going to put it in my song. I'm going to go finish writing down. And I'll share it with you all as soon as I'm done. Thanks for being here to grow with me today, friends. Love ya. Peace.